So, this is a special video of You Belong With Me by Taylor Swift um, for the winner of the Lessons on the Web Facebook contest. Uh, Ahmed, I think I'm saying your name right. Sorry if I mispronounced it. Um, so, we're just going to get started here. Um, we're gonna, I'm going to make things as simple as I can, like you had requested. Um, so, so, we'll see how that goes, if I can make things simple enough. Um, so uh, let's take a look here at what we have. So we do have the sheet music in front of us, and from what I understand, um, you can't read sheet music, but that's okay. So we're just going to figure out first where we're going to put our hand. So you want your um, fifth finger, and that is your pinky, and you want to put your pinky on, uh, sorry, you want D, and you want to find the note D. Actually, it tells you on the little um, graphics at the bottom. But you can find D by finding that group of two black keys, and D is the one in the middle, and you want your pinky and your right hand on that. So we're doing the right hand first. So you've got D, and then you've got D, B, which you're going to play with your third finger, and then you have two more Ds with your fifth finger, and then you have uh, B with your third finger, and then C with your fourth finger. And then you've got um, B, C, B, and then you have C, B, and then when you hit this A, you're going to play that with finger two. That's going to be your pointer finger, and then you have G with your thumb. So, uh, just practice those notes. Very slowly at first. And then eventually... You can get it uh, a little bit more up to speed for the intro here. And then this, this third measure here on the first line, which is this, uh, this last one here uh, that I'm circling here. So uh, you may not know, or maybe you do, that a measure is just the distance between each of those vertical lines. So we have the first measure here, and then the second one is in the middle there, and the last one is on the end there. So know about this last one, and that's just the same as what we had on the first one, where you have D, D, B, C, C, oh wait, sorry, sorry, you have D, D, B, D, D, B, C, so the whole line, so that's the whole first line with the right hand. Now the left hand, I'm going to simplify it more than it even is, um, just because to describe where you have to hit each of these notes, I have to do it in like kind of musical terms. So I'm going to make it, like I said, very easy for you. Um, so let me put it this way. When you hit this first note D with your pinky, your left hand, you're going to hit this G down here. It shows you on the graphic there kind of where that is. So if you're looking for G, you want a group of three black keys. You want to take a look at the, the last two in that group of three, and then you want to play uh, the one in between between those two, and that's uh, G there. So uh, when you hit the first note in the right hand, you want to hit G with it, and you're going to ha keep it held until you get to the, the last measure, the, the third one over there that we were talking about a minute ago, then you're going to hit G again the D there like that and then like I said once you can get up to speed uh, it'll sound a lot closer to what the actual sound is um, so let's take a look at the next line so uh, here is the end of the intro uh, which just kind of ends, actually if you notice that this measure here that I'm circling is this almost the same, it's a little different actually than the second one here. Um, but, uh, so you're going to start out with this measure here on the second line by playing C, uh, and then you play B, C, B, C, B, uh, and then you're going to press G along with it. So the whole intro, let me play the whole intro now. Uh, let me see if I can get the whole thing in view here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play uh, the beginning, the, the top three measures, and then I'm going to play this one over here because they, they all belong together.
like that. So that's the beginning there. Um, so so long as you're playing a G at the beginning of each of these measures, I think it will sound pretty good, to be honest with you. And that's what we're going to do pretty much for the rest of the piece. So the beginning of the measure, we're just going to play the first note that ha uh, that it has there, and we're going to hold it over. Um, even though the rhythm's a little more complicated, like I said, um, I'd have to describe it in musical terms. You know, kind of complicated. So I want to oversimplify it. Uh, for you so you can play along it, you know once you get a keyboard or, or uh, whatever you would like to do with the video so now we're gonna start with uh, the second measure here let me zoom in a little bit for us uh, so we have this one here that we're gonna do so what you're gonna do is you're gonna play G and D with fingers um, well I guess I shouldn't say fingers one but you're gonna play the G with thumb and you are play the D with pinky and you're gonna hit those at, all at once then you're gonna play two B's and I would play that with your middle finger, and then your pointer finger I would hit on fing uh, A, and then two Gs. So that measure goes, which you probably recognize. And then uh, this last measure here, um, right here, uh, we're going to play D, B, A, B. And then, well, let me go over that slowly. So you're going to play D, B, A, B, and then you want F sharp and A. Um, F sharp is the the one that's flashing because I keep hitting it, um, and that's the first one in that in that group of three. And then you want to hit A. I would hit uh, the F sharp with your thumb, and A with uh, as I call it finger two, but your pointer finger. So from uh, this measure here, right here, um, you're going to play it like this. Oh wait, let me let me play that one more time. And then you're gonna hold that F sharp and A over for the next line. Um, so starting there, I'm gonna play it with the left hand too. Left hand, you're still hitting G at the beginning of each of these measures. Wait, sorry. Let me try again. So that's what it's going to be like. Obviously, you'll have to play it a, a bit slower at first. Let me go through it very, very slow. So that's what you're going to play at first. You have two Bs there. You have an A. Uh, two Gs. And then... And then, obviously, you, you're probably pretty familiar with how the song sounds and playing along with the rhythm of the song. So once you once you get some practice with it, um, you'll be able to play uh, along a lot better. Like I said, once you get a keyboard or whatever you'd like to do. So um, this this measure here, that where my hand is, or a little virtual hand anyway, uh, is going to be held over from the other line. So your first note is really this one, the second note, and that's going to be an A. You're going to play that with your um, pointer finger, and then you have two Ds, and then two Bs. And then an A. You're going to play that along with the D at the bottom down here. Remember that D's between the group of two there. So there you go. And then this next measure, this middle one, you're going to play F sharp and D. F sharp with your thumb and D with your pinky. You're going to hit those at once. And then you have B, which I would play with your middle finger. And then you have A, B, A. So that whole measure will go. And then uh, the next measure, you're going to hold over that A, and then you play A, C, B, G. Um, yeah. And then the left hand, all you have to do is, at the beginning of each measure, play a D for the first two. And then you switch to A. So here's the whole line again. Oh wait, sorry. Um, let me start again. And there you go. There's the uh, whole second line. Onto the third line of the first page, actually final line of the first page. You've got uh, you play B. Well, actually, let me just go over the, the right hand first. So you play B or A, sorry, 
And I would play that with your, um, let me see what I got here, actually. Um, I would play that with your middle finger. So you got A, B, B, A, G, and then E and A. Um, actually, so, actually, let me show you what I'm talking about. Since I don't have, I, I couldn't figure out how to get a line to go along with exactly what I'm playing. Um, that's a, l a little bit easier to do with another program. But, uh, I can point to where I am. So I am right here. Let's, let's go over that one more time. So you got, uh, B, or A, B, B or, sorry, A, B, B, A, G. And then the next measure, that middle one there, you're going to hit E and A. And then you have B, and then uh, the third measure right here, you're going to play A in, or not, yeah, E with your thumb, uh, A with your third finger, or middle finger, so you play them together, and then you play B, A, B, so you go, and there you go. Along uh, with this, you're going to play uh, in the first measure here, let me circle it, uh, right here. Uh, when we play that measure, you want to hit these A's together. So you're going to be holding uh, A while you play that first measure. And the second measure, the middle one, you play C at the bottom. Uh, actually, I would just hold it there. That makes it a little bit easier. While you, you play the right hand there. And then for this last measure, you play C again. And that works out pretty well. So the whole line uh, goes... Uh, there you go. Let me try um, the whole page. Let me see if I can get the whole thing. Uh, this is going to be kind of tricky here. That is going to be way too small for me to, to read. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through line by line and just play each line uh, smoothly. So there, there's the uh, first line. You go on to the second line, and then you play G. And this is where the song starts. And then you hold that over until the next line. Sorry, I have to do it line by line like this, but this is just kind of how it's set up. Um, and then you have. I was supposed to change the A there. Let me play this uh, line again. And then you go on to the final line. So there you go, there's the whole first page. Um, let me, what I'm going to do here in a second, I'm actually booting up my uh, tablet. Um, so I'm going to read it off the tablet. You won't be able to see it here. So I'll play the whole first page for you uh, once that, that boots up from beginning to end, even though I can't show you exactly where I'm playing. That's my tablet booting up. Um, anyway, let's um, talk about page two for a second. So we're going to do page one and two in this video. And then I'll make another video uh, with more in there. So you start out, let me get this thing situated here real quick. Uh, so you're going to start out with uh, G and D. There we go, now I got things started. Um, I'll tell you what, let me get this sorted out. Um, actually, oh, I can't do it. Um, one second. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's just play page two, and then I'll figure it out. Uh, and then then I'll maybe cut the video together and show you uh me sh show you the the first two pages or or uh, have you listen to them. So you're going to be playing G and D for the second page here, in the beginning that first measure there, and then you have two Bs, and then you have A, and then two Gs, and then two Ds. Uh, the second measure in the middle there. And you have a B, and you have A, B, and then you're going to play F sharp and A again like we did before. So the whole first two measures go. And 
and then uh, that next measure you're gonna play after you hold over the F sharp and A you're gonna play A D D B B A A so the whole line and then up to speed There you go, and then um, you're gonna play when you start out this line, the first measure. Uh, you're gonna play G with the the left hand, right hand up here. Sorry, left hand. You're gonna play G again on the second measure, and then you're gonna switch to D on this last one. I played an extra D in there, but you only need to play one really. Um, so, let's go into uh, line two. That one wasn't too bad. Uh, as you go through the song, if you, you know, if it's your desire to learn how to play it, um, you'll find that a lot of it repeats, so it does become a lot easier at a point. Uh, but the beginning of this line, the first measure here, we got F sharp with our right hand, and then D at the top. And when you hit the F sharp, you're going to play two Ds at the top. So you're going to hit them together, and you hit another D, and you have B. A, B, A, so that measure goes, and then uh, the next measure, that the middle one there, you uh, holding over that A, and then you have A again, and then you have C, B, G, and then you have uh, that last measure there, you have A, B, B, A, G, uh, like so. So uh, the whole right hand. And then uh, while you play, first measure here, you got D in the left hand, kind of like how we had before. And then you have A here on the second measure. And then you're going to keep, uh, you're going to hit A again there for the final one. So, so you have D and then an A and then another A while you play the right hand. Once you get up to speed, or a little closer anyway. Or, sorry. So there you go. That'll That's what it's going to sound like after you spend some time on it. Um, and then we have, what, two lines left for this video. Uh, we've got A, or E and A. Uh, I guess I should, uh, sorry, I'm going to simplify it again. So we got uh, E with your thumb and then A with your middle finger, I would play it with. Play those at the same time. And like I said, the little graphics show you where those are at. And then you play B, so I would play, which I would play with your fourth finger. And then uh, the second measure there in the middle, uh, right here, uh, you're going to play A and E at the same time. Then you play B, then you have A, B, a, D. Um, so this measure, you're going to hit those together, like I said, and you're going to hit the A with finger three, or your middle finger there. Uh, your ring finger, you're going to hit on B, and then you've got A, B, A, and then you're going to switch your thumb to D. And this is where the chorus comes in. Uh, so you've got C and E. So you've got C and E, G, A, G, while you're holding in that C and E like so. And then the left hand, we've got a C here. We're just going to hold that over for the whole measure. Same thing with this measure. And then you're going to switch to A there on that measure. So this is what it's going to be like when you put both hands together. So one more time. closer to how uh, it is in the song. And then you move on to the next line, the final line we're going to do for today in this video. So you've got C and E while you play C in the left hand. Well, I guess I should just do the right hand first. So you just have C and E, G, A, G. 
it's actually, let me make sure this is correct what I'm telling you. This is the same as this measure up here. So this is the same thing again where you hit those together. And then you have moved down to B and D. And you play G, G, A, G. Uh, so from the beginning of the line it goes. And then with that second measure there in the middle. Which you're probably familiar with. And then this last measure you have F sharp again so make sure you get that that's in that group of three uh, that first one there so you put those together I would play those with uh, I'd play the F sharp with uh, your pointer finger and then your ring finger on A and then you play those again and you play a B A G so that whole measure goes like so so let me play the whole right hand by itself And then uh, at the left hand, you're going to play C uh, along with the right hand here in the beginning of that measure. And then you're going to switch to G on the second measure where you play the B and D. And then you're going to switch to D when you hit F sharp and A there. So it's going to be kind of like this. So this is where, well, let me show you where the left hand notes are. This is where the C is. And then you go down. This is where the G is. And this is where the D is. So C, G, and then D. So this is how the whole line is going to sound. So there we go. There is, uh, that's the, our video for today. I'm going to do it, uh, it's going to be like a three part video because I think this one's six or seven pages, something like that. Um, so yeah, that's, that's it. Um, like I promised though, let me get uh, something situated real quick. All right, so I'm back, and we're going to play through the first two pages. I'm just going to play through them. I'm not going to be able to show you exactly where I am because uh, we did already go through the notes, you know, with the nitty-gritty. I tried to make it as simple as I could. Uh, so we will play the first two pages all the way through. to the second page. So there you go, that is the first two pages, what it'll sound like, uh, playing all the way through it. And then obviously once I finish, I should be careful how I say this, <laughs> once I finish the whole song, uh, I'll play through, uh, obviously as I, as I finish each video anyway, I'll play through those two two pages that I do. And then at the end I'll play through the whole thing uh, the best I can. So I hope you enjoyed it, uh, more videos on the way for you, I'll get them done when I can. I, I didn't realize these were so many pages, but... Uh, more on the way. So thank you very much, and I'll see you for the next video. Thanks.